Two American League teams. It's the Los Angeles Angels against the Chicago White Sox. Right here, right now, 2K Sports. The White Sox call this one home, U.S. Cellular Field in Chicago. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt, getting ready for some offensive punch. I'm Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Kruk with me, Major League Baseball, 2K Sports. We're going to see Mark Burley pitch. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. Well, we got a lefty on the mound on this one. Some of the best stuff in the league among the elite left-handers in the game. I guess a lineup that can certainly put runs up on the board, but you have to believe if the lefty can get the job done, he should put some zeros up. Let's take a look at the lineup the Angels have. It's brought to you by Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, anytime you can get production from your catcher, you know you've got something special. And Mike Napoli's a guy that can produce for your team offensively. He has some power. You make a mistake, you hit the ball of the ballpark. Also, not a bad average hitter and an on-base guy. So he's a valuable guy to have on your team, a catcher who can hit. Eric Ibar leading it off. Lost in their last contest for the Angels. And that three-game set, they were constantly having to go uphill. 0-3, they ended up against the Royals. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez. And Ibar is retired. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Thoughts, Steve? Anybody stand out? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. And that's on the outside corner, nothing in two. And it holds at 0-2. Strike three, Howie Kendrick is gone. This is the effective use of the fastball. You can move it around the zone and hit your spots. They go down and in right there. Looks like the hitter was thinking away. It's Morales at the plate. Two outs and nobody on. Well hit towards the middle. And Ramirez feels the ball. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. Let's take a look at Anaheim's starter. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Not a very good matchup for this lefty on the mound right here as this lineup can powder some mediocre pitchers. So he really is going to have to move the ball around and keep these hitters off balance. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. Right there in the top five in home runs. First pitch on the way to Damon. Put something off and it swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Uh, got There's out. a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. Oh, oh and he's got it position. over to first base, and they get the out. Oh, great catch, and he's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it, and getting the runner out just in time. That could be a great way to start the offense if you can get a runner like that on, because that's really a steal when you do. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And he's in the top echelon of hits right now. There's a swing and a long high drive. Still going back. Gone a home run. And they get the first run of the ball game. That solo shot, that is a big fly ball. one nothing. That's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Swung on and hit. This one to Abreu. 
two away. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Isaac Guillen's got going. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. And that one adding to the win streak for him. It's now up to six. Line towards third and foul. Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0-2. Seven run lead holds up. You expect it to. Well, it really does. And the drubbing that the offense put on this team, that is what powered this victory. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Now we'll take a quick look at the Angels, how they'll be taking the field defensively. And Steve scouting anyone here? Well, solid defensively up the middle. Eric Ibar is a guy that can make every play defensively. He has terrific range and has all the ability and instincts to make plays. Couldn't get around in time. 0-1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. And there's the third out. They come out strong, putting a run on the board early. The White Sox are out in front, one to nothing. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Leading it off, Hideki Matsui. Burley with a delivery. Here's a check swing, but a call strike, 0-1. Hit sharply towards the hole. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. Uh, that's a well-executed play right there, Gary. He hustled over, got to first base, touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there, but he's involved in the out anyway. And it's Juan Rivera now. One out, nobody on. A line drive towards short. And Ramirez fields the ball. That retires Rivera. Number 44. It's going to be Napoli. Ace is empty and two down. And a strike. Burley catches him looking. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. And two strikes on him now. Mike Napoli. He'll take a look at these next pitches very closely. Napoli will foul that one away. Oh. Another foul ball as Napoli digs in. Well, anytime you're down 0-2, the bottom line is you want to be able to cover the whole plate. You can't look inside. You can't look outside. You you're have out. to just swing and protect in a defensive mode. That's what he did there on that pitch on the outer half of the plate to foul it off and live to see another pitch. Not a lot of action in this half inning. Nothing on. The Angels still hoping to put something up. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for a game. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect to 0-1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. No, he's good coming off a three-hit game the night before and gives you some confidence coming into oh. today's game. That's hit foul by Rios. Here it comes. Rios battling here, fouls off another ball. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. Here's one. Hit very well deep. And that gets down for a base hit. 
That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Here are the teams with the lowest batting average against, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the Mariners. Second, the Yankees. In the third spot, the A's. Fourth, the Red Sox. And at number five, it's the Angels. With an opponent's batting average this low, it really speaks to the depth of the pitching staff, both the starting staff and the bullpen getting the job done. One of the best batting averages in the league. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Rivera to field this one. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. The throw. They apply the tag. He is out at third. And here's Martin. One down, runner at first. The pitch. Swings and misses. The good change right there on one. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it. Got him to swing right through it. Now swing and a shot towards second. The second, there's one. On to first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the run scored, you give yourself a chance to win. Swing and a miss. Tommy, strike one. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, looking back to last night's game, a major contribution offensively that went deep. Nice job. And it's caught by Kendrick. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. White Sox one, the Angels nothing. It's Bobby Abreu to lead off. Center fielder, number 53, Bobby Abreu. Burley with a delivery. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Line drive. Back up able to pull that one in. Aaron settling in. Base is empty with one away. Good pitch from Burley. Swung on and missed. Here's the delivery. A one pitch is a cut fastball. Swung on and missed. 0-2. Ball got him looking two down. That's a lot of movement there for a pitch at 87 miles per hour. Now you like doing this as a pitcher when you when you can place it down and in like that, boy, that is tough to hit. Well, it came down and in on him a bit, just caught the enough of the strike zone to get the call from the umpire. And we've got his tourist batting. He's gone six out of 14 against Burl. Just missed that one for strike one. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Through the infield base hit. That's their first hit. And that'll bring up Eric Ibar. Well, finally, they get a hit here in the third inning, their first hit of the game. Let's see if they can do something with it. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. And that's a strike. Eric Ibar. Now he's going to be behind in the count. Here's the delivery. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And that's a base hit. Ibar on it first. Safe at third. Boy, they've opened the door. Can Anaheim go through it? That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. Oh! And it's Howie Kendrick in the box now. 
He's got the best average in the division. Cutter just misses. 1-0. and Burley's pitch taken for a strike. 1-1. The one and one. There's a swing and a miss at the fastball. It's one and two. This one's grounded near third. Foul. Now Przinsky sets up. And he fouls off another one. Well, it's so important if you're the pitcher when you have two strikes on a hitter and you're ahead in the count, not to just throw something down oh. the middle. He can get a good hack at. That pitch was up in the strike zone. Thought he got it by him, but give the hitter a lot of credit. Defensive swing fouls it off. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And so he comes home. That ties the ball game. That tag, and he is out at third. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. We've got a stalemate going here in Chicago. Catch a glimpse of Mike Sosha. And the prospect here, I'm sure he's considering how to maximize each opportunity in a very close game. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. Batting average, 247 off the Angels. That one swung on its line. And that gets down. Damon, base hit. So oh, that brings Alexei Ramirez up. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Alexei Ramirez. Runner on first base. Nobody out. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Uh, he's coming off a game last night where he had two big hits, and looks like he's starting to get locked in a little bit. One. And that's two. A double play. That Keystone area can get a little rusty. Nice turn on the double play. Just the way they draw it up. Great pivot by the shortstop. And here's Paul Canerco leading the league in home runs. Two outs and nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. The pitch. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. The hitter has to be protective. He has to be able to fight off that tough pitch and put it in play for a base hit if he can. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. And we'll see the angel. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. The fourth inning for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. First baseman, number eight, Henry Morales. First pitch to Morales. Lined right at the second baseman. Beckham able to pull that one in. Coming up with the All-Star break, here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Farm. First place, the White Sox. Twins in the second spot. Third, the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Burley with a delivery. Starts him off with one at the knees for a strike. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Retiring Matsui. Rivera at the plate. He bounced out his last time. Now the first pitch. That swung on and flied to right. And there's the third up. So Mike Burley gets him. One, two, three. Top half of the fourth inning over. Now on to the home half. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Leading the MLB in batting average. Carlos Quinton. 
smash towards the middle. And that one is in there, his second hit today. Now breaking down Carlos now Quentin's season back. so far, let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Strike started off the at bat 0-1. Lifetime numbers 8 for 24 against the Angels. It is foul. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. Now coming to bat. K Camp's going to show us the four seam fastball here. Number 51. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. And Alex Rios up. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. Pitch on the way. Swing and a drive, deep left center. Off the wall on a hop. Quentin around third, headed for the plate. And that will score the run. Tie broken. They've got the lead. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steven, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And so Pierzynski retired. Now coming to bat. That one looked Chicago like he nearly Lake. keeled over trying Another to make that pick. throw. Well, any throw, the key part of it Mark is footwork, Tien. and he had good footwork right there. And that's a major league play right there. Mark Tian looking to knock in a run. And one of the top ten averages right now. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to second. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they score once on two hits, one man left. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. It's Mike Napoli to lead it off. First pitch, here it comes. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. And two strikes on him now. Mike Napoli, he'll take a look at these next pitches very closely. And here's the pitch. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses one and two. Napoli will foul that one away. And Mike Napoli doesn't pull the trigger. That'll be strike three. Well, check out the movement on this on KK. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Well, he'll get the batter looking at this one. What a nice pitch, low and away in the strike zone. And he's going to take a slow walk back, trying to figure out what happened in that at bat. And not a good feeling. First pitch to Abreu. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Hit on the ground, up the middle. Beckham. And that will retire Abreu. Heron at the plate. Done looking last time. And a strike. Burley catches him looking. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Oh one, good hard cutter in for a call strike. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. No scoring here, ending this half inning. The White Sox still on top. 
and welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. Deals. Tommy will foul that one away. A good looking catch in the stands right there. They're paying attention out there. I tell you, these fans are getting better every year and they know right where the camera is. Well, you know what? In, in, the celebration, every time somebody in the stands gets a ball, they jump up and down like it's Christmas. You can't connect on that, Jim Tomey, up empty on a swing. Now, K Cam's going to show us a good look of this slider. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And it's Johnny Damon. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Took something off, and it swung on and missed. 0-1. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching. Alexi, that's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. Hot shot towards the hole. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. When you talk about a veteran presence in the middle of the lineup, Paul Canerco has been one of the more consistent power hitters in baseball over the last eight to ten years. He's a guy that just does it in a calm, quiet way. He doesn't put up the huge monster numbers, but he puts up the consistent numbers every year. But he also loves to get that big hit. Let's see if he can deliver one here in this one. He's the league leader in ribbies. And here's a swing and a miss. He couldn't get that one. One and two. Here's the pitch. A shot up the middle, and Canerco's got himself a single. Up next, Carlos Quinton. He right, takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. Catcher can't control it. Oh, and here he goes now for third. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. The pitch. And this is inside, and that hit him hard. The ball just sailed away from him, couldn't control it. Now it lowers the base. Two outs, base is loaded. First pitch to him. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Uh, Gary, as we saw the hit by pitch, now the base is loaded and so much pressure on this pitcher. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. And I think, Steve, we take a look now and see whether or not he can regain his composure on the mound in this situation. And the manager's got to be watching closely here because when he starts hitting batters as well, you've got to be wondering maybe if he's not okay out there. It is Mike Socia you're looking at. This club only separated by one run for tying this ball game. Got a plan to get back in? We'll see. And we've got his tourist batting. 270 lifetime batting average against the White Sox. And Przinsky calls for the pitch. Mike Burley gets that important strike 0 2. Burley with a delivery. Right on it, but he fouls it straight back. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first out. You talk about a guy with full command of his pitches. Only four of them, but he located and executed them perfectly. And as a result, uh, this game stays close late. Yeah, and you got to battle a little better than that. You just can't let a pitcher go in there and get four quick pitches and get a big strikeout. You got to battle better than that. This one's grounded hard up the middle. 
Out number two. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. Well, you have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly sewed it there. And he got him. And Howie Kendrick up. Batting 250 lifetime, 3 for 12 record against Burl. And he starts Kendrick out. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that Burley pitch. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. Throws on the first side is retired. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. And it'll be the White Sox. And Alex Rios up. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. Alex Rios. And he starts Rios out. Swings and misses the good change right there. 0 and 1. On the way. That's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Shallow left center. And Ibar gloves that one. Number 12. Going to be Przinski. And he's in the top 10 in the league and runs. Here's the delivery. Put something off, and it's swung on and missed. 0 and 1. He's getting it done all season long, Gary, and a guy they're really looking to count on. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Now his two RBIs helped contribute to the offense in last night's ball game. And A.J. Pruszynski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. Oh, you take a look at the pitch sequence right there. Three straight quality strikes. Well, tight games like this, uh, you get going late. You love to get these outs as quickly as you can. Well, quickly and efficiently, and the best way to do it is a strikeout. No room for error right there. Gets the big one on three pitches. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Credit the catcher on that one. Here's a swing and a line drive. Streak continues. That gets in. So, Jim, tell me, coming up, here we have a look at the teams getting on base the most often for the month. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. In third, the A's. The Twins fourth. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Two outs and a man on first. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. And in this matchup, lifetime 281 off the Angels. The 1-0 now. That one swung on and missed by Tomei, and that evens it up. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Pitch on the way. Good spot for the changeup that time. One and two. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. The White Sox two. The Angels one. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. And uh, this one run lead he's got, uh, will it be enough? We're going to see. And the first pitch. Swung on, hit. Gets through, tying run on. A chance here to take a look at the Los Angeles Angels and how they rank in the American League right now. First in stolen bases, fourth in home runs. And they also have patience at the plate, showing up in the top five in base on balls. Patience, a big asset for this team. Understanding it doesn't matter how you get on, you just need to get on base. Matsui takes a called strike. Towards the middle. And he's on. That's the go-ahead run. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. It's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. Keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Here's the pitch to Rivera. Line drive out of play down the right side. And that's another foul ball. Foul. 
Hit in the air to left center. And that's going to be another hit for them. Morales, he's going to try to score here. And it's tied up. The tying run crosses the plate. So now the Pepsi WPA graph will show us the difference that run batted in made. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. It's got to be Napoli. Definitely some clutch production we're seeing out of this lineup, Steve. Uh, Gary, we just saw a quality at bat. They capitalized on the opportunity. And now an opportunity to pull ahead here in this game. So outstanding clutch hitting. This visit to the mound uh, may be less about talking than time for the pen. Well, give them a few more pitches out there, get themselves ready to go in case they finally make the call. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Burley with a delivery. Ball! Swung on, that is hit. Picked! It's one. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. So Bobby Abreu is batting. Another chance here for Anaheim. First pitch to Abreu. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That's down. Runner could come home. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in his swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up the hit. Heron is up now. Steve, great determination by this offense. It looks like they may take charge of this ball game late. Well, they needed that one right there, Gary. That was a big at bat. Now they have the lead. Now they're looking to add on to it, too. Take the pressure off the late inning pitcher. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. That's quite a break for having thrown that pitch at 86 miles per hour. Nacer is third. Big time players live for these moments like this, Gary. One for two in the ballgame. And the first pitch. Strike one! And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. You always want to get that first strike in there as a pitch. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. He's up with it. And he'll step on the back. That'll do it. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. L.A.'s got the lead now. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Trying again here. Just one for three thus far. First pitch on the way to Damon. Fastball in there for a called strike. The pitch. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. He got him. That's nine Ks now. You know, sometimes in the back you go five, six, seven pitches as they start to foul off the 0-2 count. I like that he went right at him aggressively. Strikes him out on three pitches. Swung on. Hit down the line and left. It has a chance. Out of here. Goodbye home run. And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. Gary, really important for the Sox right there to tie this up. Now if Chicago can get a big hit, they've got a chance to take the lead. Here it comes. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. Well, we talk about clutch homers. These go into the game-tying home run. This ball is hammered. Deep right. That's going to one-hop off the wall. Now State Fire brings you the extra base hit leaders for this month. Here's Carlos Quinton. The offense opening here. Another shot at it. One out with a runner at second. First pitch to Quinton. He swings on that 0-0 delivery. Misses the fastball. Strike one. 
Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Here's the delivery. Got him. Strikeout number 10 today. Well, the velocity getting up to about 89 miles per hour, but pretty straight pitch right there. Jordan. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And Brian Fuentes is the pitcher. He's coming on in relief for the Angels. And Beckham's in the box. Career numbers, one for two against Fuentes. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Boy, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. So they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. We've got a stalemate going here in Chicago. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball, I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Here's the first pitch. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Here's the pitch. Swung on, soft liner to the right side. Gets down, the go-ahead runs on base. High bar going for it. Now, now into July. Let's Angeles take a look Angels at the White Sox. They finish up this Los Angeles series on Thursday. They'll kick off a series with the Kansas City Royals, a little division play. A team they didn't have too much trouble with in their previous series. That's a three-game series. Following that, it'll be a road series to play the Twins and their hitter, Delman Young. So, some challenges in store for sure. Howie Kendrick, he comes to the plate with a runner in scoring position. Grounded out last time. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. This was an outstanding performance today. I mean, that's good starting pitching right there. He won't be able to finish what he started, but he pitched a heck of a ball game. And he starts Kendrick out. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Career batting average, 244 against the White Sox. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he's on it first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads up play. You know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. Boy, he made that throw a split second before he lost control of the body. Well, the key was he kept his eye on the target the entire time. Big smile. He got that one done. Now the first pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. On the ground to short. Now it's two away. There's the run, and it gives them the lead. They put the ball on the ground and put it in play in a productive out. Hitting the ground to short was able to bring the runner home from third. Here's the pitch. Tian. Throws to first side is retired. They pick up a run on one hit. Nobody left. L.A.'s got the lead now. And Alex Rios up. He's going to lead off the whole half of the eighth. Number 51, Alex Rios. And he starts Rios out. Swing and lined up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Now Take a moment to check out the slugging percentage leaders, courtesy of State Farm. Well, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. The pitch from Fuentes. Swings a little early that time, 0-1. Well, you go to the eighth inning right here, and I've seen the game getting much shorter here. Two innings left in this one, and you've got the one-run lead. But you have to go out there and try to get something going and force them to put the ball in play. Do not give free passes. Do not let them get on base easily. That one ends up in the dirt on a swinging strike three. Able to set him down there. Chuck that one up as a strikeout for him. And through this time for a base hit. 
The hits just keep on coming. That's five today. Now here is Mark Tian. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. A smash to first. Got one. And two. They got both of them that time. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. The Angels still out in front. And it's Juan Rivera now. Single home run in the bat. Juan Rivera. Here's the pitch to Rivera. Swung on, line to right field. And it's through. Base hit, Rivera. First half of the season almost completed. Here's a pre All Star break look at the Western Division standings, courtesy of State Farm. First place, the Angels. The Mariners, second place. A's, third. And it's the Rangers in fourth. It's going to be Napoli. 0 for 3, lifetime off Thornton. First pitch on the way. There's a smash towards the hole. And Canerco makes the catch. Center fielder, number So Bobby Abreu is batting. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 1. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. The pitch. And it's 0 2. Abreu probably won't try and pull here. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that wow. any day of the week. That's a great pitch. You're Bobby Abreu has struck out a big oh, swing and a miss. A credit the pitcher right there. Good two-strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. Runner on first, two away. And here's the first one. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. That first pitch is critical in these key at bats. You want to work ahead in the count. That's exactly what the pitcher did there. 0 1 pitch, a fastball. Swung out and missed. 0 and 2. The hitter now needs to protect the plate. Think about going right back up the middle. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Angels 4, the White Sox 3. Mike Sosha looks on. And nearing the end of this one. Tension still in the air. This is only a one run ball game. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Now swinging and a shot toward second. And that puts that potential tying run on base. I mean the back. Uh, nice piece of hitting right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind him. Johnny Damon looking to light things up here right now, Gary. He's had one hit four times up. First pitch on the way to Damon. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. One bounce onto the wall. He throws. Tomei's going to try to score. And Bango, he slams into him. And he is out. Oh, my, what a scene. The catcher blocking the plate and still made the play. Well, offensively, right now, you've got to force the issue. You're running out of time. You've got two outs left in this game, Gary. And I think that from a managerial perspective, he's got to think about putting runners in motion if he gets them on to try to make something happen. Contact baseball, and the catcher wins this one. He's still got it. Well, there's no hesitation at all from the runner as he rounds third base. He sees the catcher standing there. He knows he's going to have to run him over. Lowers his shoulder, but he can't knock the ball away. The pitch from Fuentes. And the fish for that one, nothing and one. Boy, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. Gary, let's see this pitch again in K-Cam. Here's another look at the changeup. 
A big opportunity right now for Paul Kronerko to deliver for his teammates, Gary. Lifetime record two for three off Brian Fuentes. Swing and a miss, Konerko not making contact. That'll even up the count. And a fly ball could be the last out. And Abreu is going to play it. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. A real tight ball game. The Angels come away the victors playing solid baseball. Yeah, we get a moment to recognize the Pepsi clutch performer. Well, anytime you could come in with an arsenal with a fastball like this young man has, you have a chance to have double-digit strikeouts, and that's exactly what this man did. He was throwing that great fastball, mixing in enough of his other pitches just to keep the hitters honest. He gets the double-digit Ks, a big W on the scoreboard, and he accomplished his goals for this game. And they come into hostile territory, Steve, and take this one by one run. Well, both teams had a chance to win it. Goes down to the very end, but the visiting club outplayed them. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball.